This is Dr. Benjamin Bloom. He is the creator of Bloom's Taxonomy. A taxonomy is a way of classifying things. Like, for animals, we have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Or in your library, we use the Dewey Decimal System to classify books. A zebra, a horse, and a donkey may seem very similar, but they're actually quite different and can be classified in different categories. Bloom's taxonomy is quite often represented as a pyramid, but there is no one correct way to depict Bloom's taxonomy. I like this version because it is friendly and easily understandable. This, however, is the most famous way of thinking about Bloom's. You see that it has been revised between 1956 and 2001. The base of the pyramid is the skill to remember, and it goes all the way up to create. However, please understand that all of these stages can be mixed together. There are seven levels of thinking skills in Bloom's taxonomy. Number one is to remember. For instance, you'd remember that Shakespeare's birthday is April 23rd. Number two is to understand. When I have you identify the quatrains in a Shakespearean sonnet, you show me you understand that a quatrain is a group of four lines with a certain rhyme screen. Number three is to apply. If I give you the lines to a sonnet all cut up and separated and ask you to put them back together, you are applying your knowledge of a quatrain in a sonnet. If I ask you to tell me what image Shakespeare is trying to create in each quatrain and to justify your answer with text, I am asking you to analyze. If I ask you what image is most effective to you and why, I'm asking you to evaluate, and if I ask you to write your own quatrain, I am asking you to create. Now in high school, many of you are used to using just the first two levels of Bloom's taxonomy. I mean, I see you um, cramming for your test, um, studying for your vocabulary words, and I can't tell you how many times I hear, hurry up, sir, before I forget. Now, if you just remember something or memorize it, that's the most basic level, and you really aren't learning it. You're just memorizing it for a short time. The higher you go on the Bloom's taxonomy, the more you're able to apply, evaluate, and analyze different levels of your learning. Recently, we had a test that asked you to apply the higher order thinking skills of analysis, evaluating on a test, and a lot of you were surprised at how hard it was. Many of our best students, like you, are used to just memorizing, and they've developed really great memorizing and understanding skills. But now is the time, and, I will, and also in college, for you to apply those skills at a higher level. The study cycle is one way that you can make sure that you are learning at a higher level and, and are able to apply your higher order thinking skills towards the matters that you are studying in college and even for the rest of your career here in high school. The study cycle begins with previewing before class. Most of your professors will give you a syllabus and the subject matter for the class will be presented on that and you should understand what they're going to be talking about or at least anticipate what they're going to be talking about. We used to call that activating your schema. The next step is to actually attend class. I can't stress that enough. 95% of life is simply showing up on time and too many people pay a fortune for college, and never go to class. As soon as you can, after class, 
review your notes, remind yourself what the professor asked, told you about, and ask questions, write down questions that you can use in the future to ask him at the next class or even during tutoring sessions. Develop regular study habits. You should have three to five short study sessions per day and again review on the weekend. We're going to talk more about study sessions here in just a moment. By the way, these graphics are from the Louisiana State University Study Center. Um, I did not make them. You want to have intense study questions. You want to set a goal. What, am I, what are you going to learn about in this session? You want to study with focus. You want to organize, concept map, summarize, process, reread, fill in notes, reflect with the material. Too many times I'm sure you've experienced where you're reading something and all of a sudden you realize you're thinking about something else and you've just been reading words with no comprehension. And then after 30 to 50 minutes, take a break, reward yourself, drink some juice, have a Coke, um, eat a candy bar, call a friend, and then go back and review over what you just studied. When you go to college, it's gonna be a great time to set up new study habits because what most of you have been doing in high school simply isn't going to work for you in college. It was a lesson I had to learn 35 years ago. And if you can skip learning that lesson the hard way, you'll save yourself a lot of heartache and time. Um, the intensive study questions, or sessions, I'm sorry, may seem to take up a lot of time, but in the long run, it's going to save you time when you're acing those tests, passing your classes, without having to take remedial courses or without having to repeat classes.